Hey welcome. hey, welcome back to Cover That Roof. I'm Rob with True American Roofing Company, and I'll be your host. In today's episode, we're gonna be snapping our chalk lines so we can lay this concrete S tile correctly. Now, basically the tile is approximately, it varies. The tile is approximately 17 inches long, but it can vary by an eighth of an inch or so. You know, that's that's a pretty even margin of error. Now on this tile, we're supposed to have a overlap of approximately three inches on the overlap. So if the tile is 17 inches long, we need to snap our chalk lines at 14 inches to give us that three inches of coverage that we need to make it a great roof. Let's see what we've done so far. We've got this whole backside chalked out and most of the batten strips laid out. Now we gotta do the front, and that's what we're gonna videotape and we're gonna show you exactly how we do it. Let's get a closer look and see what the batten strips are like already laid on the roof. Okay, so you can see we got these laid out every four feet, and that's what we're doing right here. So batten strips come in eight foot lengths. We need to cut these down into four foot sections and create a channel so the water can drain when it gets in between the tiles. So that's what we're doing right now. Trying to create something for the tile to rest on. This is kind of a steep roof, six and 12 pitch. We definitely need batten strips to help hold it. So now we're just marking these things. So let's do it and let's get them cut. Hey, hey, welcome back. Okay, so we're getting ready to install our batten strips and we have eight foot long lengths. Well, we want to create four foot uh, channels to make it easier for the water to drain. So now we want to come over here. bundle can do one square or 100 square feet of roofing what we need so we got enough cut for this front we've got three more left that's perfect for this little side right here got a pretty good job going on okay so now we want to go set the edge on the front okay so now that we got all the batten strips cut and ready to go now we need to go to the front and set the edge metal so we can start setting our lines we can't set the chalk line or the first row until we get all the edge metal installed with the bird saw. So we'll catch up to you in a bit. We've got a little bit more to show you, and we'll see you then. That roof. Okay, so as you can see, we have a beautiful overhang right here. And we just replaced everything and did this. Well, when we're nailing the batten strips, the nails are two and a quarter inch long or two and a half, and they're gonna go through these boards if we don't chalk the lines above. So we took all of our measurements, so we took all of our measurements on this wood. Right here, you can see it goes all the way up. Took our measurements so we don't get any shiners. Now we're gonna go and get these all nailed off and get it tacked in. Okay, so now that we know where all the rafters are, we can take our measurements, which we did. And now we're gonna start snapping a chalk line across the center of each beam that you're seeing up above. So let's do it. Okay, so now we want to snap our chalk line so we know that we're not hitting any shiners going through when we nail the batten strips on. So let's see how we do it. Back. Okay, so you can see the lines. These are where the rafters are. You can see the lines. These are where the rafters are going across. And now we know where to put our nails in so we don't go through the boards. All right, so we're going to start hanging the edge metal get our first row down so we can get our distance and start snap the line so we'll catch up to you in a bit catch up to you in a bit when we get more of this done we're getting ready to lay the edge metal okay. 
Back cover that roof. Okay, so now that we got the horizontal lines chalked to get the straight rows going the lengthwise, now we need to get the length going up and we need to start chalking these lines. So let's see how we do it. Let's do it. This will help us keep our rows going up straight. Okay, so now we got our vertical lines chalked. We're gonna... All right, fantastic. Now we got our horizontal line chalked and our vertical lines chalked. You can see the roof, see all the lines. So everything's going good. So we're gonna get back to you in a bit when we get ready to start installing it. I'm gonna get back to you in a bit when we get ready to start installing the batten strips on the front portion of the roof. Back to that roof. Okay, so we have all our batten strips ready to go got them cut and ready got our lines chalked horizontally and vertically and we're getting ready to bust this out so let's do it let's see how we do it Okay, that wraps it up. We just installed the batten strips on the front side of the house. Now we gotta work on the garage. It's our next area. All right, went pretty good. 